Hello everyone welcome back to travel and work. We hope you're doing great. In this video we are going to talk about embarking on a journey to work and live in the United Kingdom. This is a dream for many and the skilled worker visa is often the key to turning the dream into reality. The sponsored work visa enable individuals to reside in the UK for up to five years with the potential to extend their stay or apply for an indefinite leave to remain. To be honest, this path is filled with challenges and the fear of a visa application refusal is at large. In this video, I will unravel the intricacies of the UK skilled worker visa. I will shed more light on the application process eligibility criteria and the common pitfalls that often lead to visa refusals. Our main objective is to give you the knowledge and insights needed to navigate this path successfully. Remember each application is unique. I will expose the hindrance in your journey. If you are interested in this topic or information, you want to pay attention and watch the video through to the end. You also want to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to push the notification bell for the upcoming video. Without any delay, let's hop into the video. Now, how do you avoid common application pitfalls? If you desire to live and work in the United Kingdom, the skilled worker visa pathway will make your dream a reality. This sponsored work visa allows you to reside in the UK for up to five years, and after five years on this visa, you become eligible to renew it or apply for an indefinite leave to remain. This is also known as settlement. If you want to live, pursue a career and want a future in the UK, it is possible. The success of your skilled worker visa application or its refusal can be daunting or scary. You do not have to worry as I will guide you in this video to be successful. Let us look into a detailed UK skilled worker visa with an overview of the application process, eligibility criteria and the common reasons for visa refusals. I will provide valuable insights into how to sidestep the pitfalls that many applicants encounter. Every visa application is unique. The UK skilled worker visa was introduced in 2020, Tier 2 General Work Visa. This visa category is part of the point-based system that allows individuals from outside the UK to take up employment with UK-based employers. Now let's take a look at your licensed certificate of sponsorship for overseas workers requirements. Eligibility for this is based on the nature of the job you are pursuing, the cost and ease of securing. For the skilled worker visa, you need to meet these requirements. You must have a job offer from a UK visa sponsor approved by the Home Office. The job you are offered must be on the list of eligible occupations. You must have a certificate of sponsorship for the role and your income must meet the minimum requirement specified for your occupation. Now, to prevent misuse by both employers and applicants, the Home Office conducts a thorough examination of the job offer's legitimacy, the role and the applicant's qualifications. So, only legitimate candidates benefit from the visa category, ultimately leading to indefinite leave to remain and potential citizenship. Now, we are going to discuss securing a skilled worker visa and the application process. To secure a skilled worker visa, the process begins with receiving a job offer from an approved UK visa sponsor. If your prospectus employer does not possess a UK sponsor license, they must apply for one before proceeding with your application. After obtaining a job offer, the employer will provide you with a certificate of sponsorship. This is a very crucial piece of evidence to be included in your visa application. The application will require details about your role, salary and other information necessary to meet the eligibility criteria. There are various fees associated with the skilled worker visa application such as the application fee. There is also immigration health surcharge. Although for some people, it is an optional fee. If you plan to bring your spouse or children to the UK with you, they will need their UK dependent visa. Once your application is approved, you will receive an entry clearance granting you 90 days to enter the UK. For visas valid for over six months, you will need to collect a biometric residence permit upon your arrival. Now, let's discuss the eligibility criteria for the UK skilled worker visa. The fundamental requirements for the UK are as follows. You must have a job offer from a home office approved UK visa sponsor. You need a certificate of sponsorship for the role eligible occupation. The job must be on the list of eligible occupations. Again, your income must meet the minimum requirement based on your occupation. You should demonstrate proficiency in English at the home office's specified level. 
You need to have 1,270 pounds available in your bank account to support yourself upon arrival unless exempted from this requirement. You must meet the minimum income requirements, which are currently £26,200 per year. That is you must be earning £10.75 per hour. This wage is for specific jobs. Some flexibility exists for applicants who may earn between 70% and 90% of the going rate, for their roles. The list of eligible occupations is extensive and if your job title is not listed, there may be similar roles that qualify. An example is a chef. A chef is a qualifying role but a cook is not. You have to be clear about the exact job role. You may want to know the common reasons for UK skilled worker visa refusals. It is common that visa refusals often result from various mistakes and issues. Identifying these mistakes and issues can help you avoid them. During your application process, application errors, simple mistakes, such as typos or incorrect dates can lead to your application being rejected. Ensuring that your applications are error-free is crucial, as inaccuracies can make it appear that you are not eligible. Applying too early is not good as well. For a skilled worker visa, you must have a valid job offer from a UK visa sponsor before applying. Failing to secure a certificate of sponsorship before making an application can lead to an invalid application. Insufficient or lack of funds also can lead to a refusal. Sufficient funds are essential. Some applicants need to show that they had one, £270 available in their bank accounts. Failing to provide evidence or having an adequate amount can result in refusals. Also omitting information, leaving out requested information can be seen as an intentional emission. This can negatively impact your application. You need to always provide completed accurate information. Providing false or counterfeit documents will severely impact your application, even if it is done unknowingly. This can lead to refusal. Always ensure the documents you submit are genuine and valid. Failure to disclose previous visas can also have a negative impact on your visa application. Being honest is so important. You don't want to conceal information of your previous visa refusal. Providing incomplete information can lead to repercussions, including a 10-year ban on entering the UK. Bad isn't it. Some applicants may be called for interviews to confirm details about their job role. You want to be very very careful at this stage as the information you provide in your application should align with what you provide during the interview. Failing to include requested documents or submitting photocopies instead of the originals can lead to refusal. Failure to meet financial or salary requirements, misunderstanding or miscalculating salary requirements can lead to ineligibility issues. Both the applicant and the employer must understand the salary prerequisites. Now, how do you ensure that your UK skilled worker application succeeds? You must be equipped with this knowledge to enhance your chances of a successful skilled worker visa. Make sure to follow these steps to improve your application's quality and accuracy. You can also seek professional advice. You can also consult with experienced immigration professionals who can provide tailored guidance. You must avoid relying solely on friends and family for advice as they are in regulated immigration advice. You can study the available guidance provided by the UK Home Office. Ensure your application tallies with the requirements including the correct format for supporting documents. You want to communicate with your prospective employer. Maintain a clear and good communication with your prospective employer. You want to ensure that all details including job roles responsibilities and salaries align with a job offer. You need to approach the application process diligently. Go over your application several times. Look out for heroes and inaccuracies before you make the submission. You need to be honest and transparent in your application. No false information. As if you provide false information, it can lead to serious consequences. My final thoughts are that you must complete your skilled worker visa application with care. Pay keen attention to details. This will maximize your chances of success. You want to seek professional guidance as I have mentioned before. Read available resources and maintain open communication with your employer. Be very transparent throughout the process. By following these steps, you can navigate the skilled worker visa application with much confidence and further increase your chances of approval. Remember, that knowledge is your weapon. By understanding, the risk of the application process and the eligibility requirements, as well as the pitfalls that can lead to refusal, you're taking proactive steps. 
With careful preparation and unwavering determination, your skilled worker visa application can be the key to unlocking the door to the UK. It will set you on a path toward your aspirations in a better future. That is all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? You want to leave comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. I hope the information is useful to you. See you later in the next video. Till then take care.